Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem given in FTRE 2016 for 10th grade students. If A, B are zeros of a polynomial, x square plus px plus 1 and cd are zeros of another polynomial g of x equal to x square plus qx plus 1 then the value of e that is a minus c into b minus c into a plus d into b plus d is equal to how much we have four, four options p square minus q square q square minus p square q square plus p square are none of these so we have been given two polynomials and we have been given the zeros of them. So first thing what comes to our mind is what is the relation between what is the relation between zeros and the coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. So we know that if a, b are zeros I know that first of all a and b both satisfy that. So can I say a square plus p into a plus 1 is equal to 0 we know that not only that b also satisfies so I know b square plus p b plus 1 is equal to 0 we also know that sum of the zeros is equal to minus of b by a that means we know a plus b is equal to minus of b by a that is minus p comma product of zeros a into b equal to c by a that is nothing but a b equal to 1. In the same lines we have here x square plus q x plus 1 and c comma d are zeros so I can write down c square plus q c plus 1 equal to 0 d square plus q d plus 1 is equal to 0. We also know that sum of zeros c plus d is equal to minus of q and also c d equal to 1. Now this is the information which will be which is available to us. So we will be leveraging all these conditions and try to solve the problem. So let us go to the next step. What we will write down now? What we need? We need a minus c multiply with b minus c multiply with a plus t multiply with b plus t what we will do we will take this as one unit that is one unit we will multiply them now a into b a b a into c minus a c minus b c plus c square and when we multiply a plus d into b plus d we get a b plus a d plus b d plus d square. Now we will substitute whatever the values we know. We know a b equal to 1 minus of can I take c common in this minus of c into a plus b but a plus b is minus b. I will write down one more step. I will say minus of c into a plus b plus c square. So we do not know what is c square so I will leave it like that only. We will change this. Similarly here we have a b equal to 1 plus d into a plus b plus d square. We will go to next step. I can write down 1 a plus b is equal to minus p. So minus p into minus c is plus p c multiply with c square and 1 a plus b is minus p so this will become minus p d plus d square. We will go to the next step 1 minus p c plus c square into 1 plus p c plus c square into 1 minus p d plus d square. So let us go ahead and write that. We have 1 plus p c plus c square into 1 minus p d plus d square. Now let us multiply that we will have 1 1 plus p c ok. Now before going there let us see whether can I simplify that 1 minute 
I can see whether I can make it easy. Go back to the last page and see. We have 1 plus c square is equal to minus qc. I can write it as 1 plus c square equal to minus qc. Similarly, 1 plus d square is equal to minus qd. So why can't I go back and substitute that? So 1 plus c square is equal to minus qc. So can I write down pc minus qc into 1 plus d square is minus qd minus qd minus pd. Now I can take c common it will become c into p minus q. I can take d common minus d common actually I will get p plus q. This is cd into q plus p into minus of p minus q is q minus p. But we know cd is equal to 1 that means 1 into q square minus p square which is nothing but equal to q square minus p square. So let us go back. What we have done? So we have been given that a, b are zeros of this quadratic polynomial and c, d are zeros of second quadratic polynomial. We have to find out this particular value a minus c into b minus c into a plus d into b plus d. What we have done? We know a, b are zeros. So we, we know that a square plus p a plus 1 is 0, b square plus p b plus 1 is 0. Also we know that a plus b equal to minus p a b equal to 1. We know that because sum of zeros is equal to minus of b by a and product of zeros equal to c by a which comes from relation between the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and the coefficients of the quadratic polynomial. Similarly, we have other condition here c square plus q c plus 1 d square plus q d plus 1 is also equal to 0. We have c plus d equal to minus q and c d equal to 1. Now this is what we need a minus c into b minus c into a plus d into b plus d. What we have done? We have multiplied them separately. We have substituted a b equal to 1 and we also substituted a, a plus b equal to minus p. At the end we know that 1 plus c square is minus q c and 1 plus d square equal to minus p d. 1 plus c square is minus q c which we substituted here. Then when we go to the next step we have c and d common there we have taken them and we know c d equal to 1. So the solution is q square minus p square. So the option which is correct is q square minus p square this is the right option. So I will catch you once again with another interesting example till then bye.